This is what happens when you set up your cameras for the day and don't perform a simple sound check. I had everything set up on site and wasted my time giving a detailed explanation of what I was going to do on the beach that day. Now I have to do it all over again at my home, losing the whole feeling of being there and explaining on sight. Another lesson learned the hard way. Let's do it again. Hello fellow adventurers and welcome to the prequel to my last fishing trip to New Smyrna Beach. Now, for, before that trip, I had uh, noticed that a lot of people were fishing with different size rods out there. I'd go out there and there'd be a guy that have, might have three 13-foot rods out. And then I'd go another time and see a guy that was just walking up and down the beach with a light, like sort of an inshore rod. So I, I wondered, you know, what difference does it make what, uh, in fishing at New Smyrna Beach? Now these results only apply to New Smyrna Beach in the spring. So, uh, so don't try to extend this everywhere. Uh, but what I did is I took four rods, different size rods with, with uh, gear to match. All four of them had double drop uh, uh, circle hooks on them. Uh, the largest one, was what I call my gigantic rod, and it's, a, it's an 11 foot, 11 foot ugly stick, um, and the uh, reel is a uh, uh, a pen battle three, loaded with 40 pound braid, and uh, my I made my double drop rig out of 50 pound test uh, fluorocarbon, and these four odd hooks. So this, this is a pretty beefy rig, and I figured, oh, maybe I'll get some small sharks on this, or a redfish. My next rod was one that is a standard for me. This, this is the one I usually use for trying to catch pompano and whiting. And it is a seven foot, oh no, this is a nine foot rod. It was sort of a, uh, what do you call a steelhead rod. And it has, uh, it's loaded with 20 pound uh, a braid, and the uh, leader is 20 pound fluorocarbon. I have uh, two odd hooks on there and little floats. Third rod, which I don't usually take, is, an, is my inshore rig. It's a, uh, oh, was it? oh, I did not see what the reel was. The uh, last one, that was a, a reel on, on my uh, nine foot rod, was a uh, Shimano Stratic 5000. On my inshore rod, I have a Shimano Stratic 3000. It's loaded with 10 pound braid, and I have a 12 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader on it with uh, number one hooks. And for my smallest rig, I have a what is this, a, a Quantum Energy. This is a 24 or 20 year old uh, rod. It's a 500 size, you know, it's a, uh, uh, for, uh, it has a six pound test on it. And let's see, the uh, leader, I believe is eight pound test. And I have uh, number eight hooks on it. So this is a tiny little thing. It's the, uh, it's a Zebco, Quantum Energy, and let's see the model. Oh, it's a, the E5-1. Probably don't make it anymore. So I'm gonna bait them all with a piece of shrimp and a piece of fish gum, you know, appropriately sized for the hooks. And uh, that's gonna be my test. And we'll see, we'll see how we do out, out, on, the, out on the beach. See you there. Beach. I do. I think I got some. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Hard to tell. It must be something really tiny if it's anything at all. Let's see. Oh, I got something going on here. Looky here. Oh, I got two. Not just one, but two little whitings. 
<laughs> Not bad. Look at you here. <laughs> Little cutie pies. Okay, there's one and two that are going to go back into the ocean. Here we go. Slippy slidey. Okay, if you want to jump out of their hands, that's fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa, slippery. Okay, oh, they're just going to slip and slide their way into the ocean again. Okay. There we go. That was fast. <laughs> I think maybe the small hooks do a better job at hooking up. I think this one's swimming towards me. Let's see. Yeah, there he is. Woo! This makes extra level of difficulty getting it through the surf. Another tiny whiting. This one's not too bad, actually. This may be a keeper. Let's see. Well, my rule is 11 inches, so let's see if this makes 11. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be close. 11 inches. I got a keeper off the tiniest rig. <laughs> so maybe I'm learning something here. Let's see. Line was moving down, it was moving sideways and started reeling in. And look at here, there's a, another fish. <laughs> this little one is just catching fish like crazy. And looky here, a pinfish? Is that really a pinfish? It so is a pinfish. Tiny little pinfish. Now I'm not going to keep him for bait today. Normally I would. But uh, I'm trying to keep the same new shrimp on all four rigs. Now, I may regret this later, but in he goes. And I got a fish. Got a fish. Yep. Feel him wiggling on there every now and then. That was fast. Maybe, maybe a whiting this time instead of a catfish. What do you say? There it comes. Splash, splash, splash. And it is a croaker. It's a good sized croaker. Yeah, there's the croak. <laughs> Good performance, okay. guy. And then you got I got some slack in my line here. Okay, let's see. I got something this time. I'm still not feeling anything. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in though. I feel like I'm dragging something. Maybe it's just the sinker, but it feels like I got some weight on here. No, I got a fish. I got a fish. Got a little whiting. Another little whiting. And I think he's a little undersized for me. Okay, in you go. Thank you. Off you go. Okay, okay, okay. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. I don't think I have anything on there. Yeah. I don't know. It seems to be going sideways. Maybe there's a fish on there. Yeah, there is. Is that a clunker? Another whiting. Another undersized whiting. When I say undersized, it's legal. But not big enough for my uh, table. I don't know, this one's close. Let me go check. 
Trying to get, oh, look at the slack on that line. Oh my gosh. I think I'll just let this one go. <laughs> See what I got on here. A lot of slack. Well, I like the action today, boy. Hard to keep a line in the water without getting fish on it right away. And this another tiny little fish. What we got? Another whiting. A lot of small whiting today. And maybe that's just because I got these small hooks on here. Okay, that's definitely undersized for me. Okay. Go. Oh, come on now. Swim, swim, swim. Go get him. Hey. Doubled up here. Just got to hope that that one just stays hooked. Oh, oh boy. This one feels pretty good. Let's see. This looks like a spot. Leave you there a second and see what I got on here. Spot. I don't appear like I have anything here. Okay. All right, let's let Mr. Spot go. C spot. C spot wiggle. Is this a spot? No. I guess it's a spot. Oh, some kind of a croaker or a spot, I'm not sure. Spot seems to have a spot right there. Yeah. I think that may be a spot. Okay, and off it goes. There it is. on it. There we got uh, a little something. A uh, very little something. Tiny whiting. Tiny little whiting. fish. Let's see what we got. He's wiggling around a lot. Maybe a better whiting this time. Maybe. Let's see. Or maybe not a whiting. Maybe a catfish. It's a whiting. It's a catfish. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Catfish. I gave him a good little fight though. Oh, let's go. Take the up down. Alright. Must be really little. Okay. There he comes. Another little whiting. We're going to set the record for catching whitings. This one, I don't know. He's not bad. Not a bad writing. Ow. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think he's going to make it. We'll give it a try. I think he's ten. <laughs> yeah, he's ten and a half. Whoops. Okay, come on. Come on, let's go back in the water. More fun there. At least for you. You can breathe and such. There you go. In you go. Oh, go. Go, 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 go. The other way, the other way. There you go. 
Okay, I've got my bait split. He's still there, but no, he's not. Probably stripped here too. Oh, gee. Now back on this one. He's on there now. Yeah, he's on there. Well, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Dink a dink a dink. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, the smallest whiting of the day. Caught another species, didn't have the camera on. That's an interesting little guy. I'll have to look him up when I get back. Uh, interesting little fish. Okay, off he goes. Whoop. The final count was five fish on rod one, the smallest rod. Got six fish on rod two, the inshore rod, and four fish on rod number three, the one I usually bring surf fishing. I caught zero fish on the big rod, and the biggest fish of the day was caught on the smallest rod. Now these numbers aren't exact, except for the one on the big rod, it's still zero. But I know I caught two mojaras, a second catfish, and a palometta, a fish that resembles a small permit. My GoPros just weren't cooperating this trip, but I did learn some lessons that will make a difference in the way I surf fish next time. Tell me what lessons you learned in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and if you want to see more videos, please subscribe as well. Till next time, remember, I'm talking to you, Kathy. When you have an opportunity for adventure, just say... Yes!